it does still work for the light because it feels yeah, to me it's, it's okay. okay. Um, one thing that in the I was absolutely delighted to see that uh, Extinction Rebellion when they had their first major action in Lon London and they were putting out the um, principles of Extinction Rebellion which I think are all very sound principles they, they also cho chose one which, which is very close to my heart having written a book called Designing Regenerative Cultures that was called We Need a Regenerative Culture and then it even s said the way it described what a regenerative culture is, a culture that is healthy, resilient, and adaptable, is a direct quote out of my book. But the difference, what they, what they did in quoting from the book, which I'm happy about, about that they did, is they dropped the S. They dropped the plural of regenerative cultures and said, we need a regenerative culture. And then they started communicating with all the networks that are popping up around the world in that way. But really, in each one of those places, that regenerative culture will look slightly different. So I think it's really important to keep the plural. Otherwise, we have a form of colonialization again, where a mainly UK-led initiative that spreads around the globe is putting one particular form of regenerative culture. And they also sort of collapsed it into important things, the, the culture care of within the movement, how do we support each other, uh, each other, how do we support a culture of communication that is, is uh, so people don't burn out and that people, uh, um, that there's less conflict. All of this is key to building a movement. But regenerative cultures is so much more. Regenerative cultures is actually the positive answer of saying, we need an extinction rebellion and therefore we now need to join the regeneration and build regenerative cultures everywhere. Uh, so, so, it, so for me, to, to open up the conversation around what, like, like shifting from talking just about regenerative culture with, re, with a kind of internal focus of how do we build the XR movement and the climate response movement to going, we need to take this energy and transform it into being the regeneration rising and do our deep adaptation work in place which will have the dual function of preparing us to be able to withstand collapse in economic, social, and ecological systems that we are in better because we've built local resilience and we've built the capacity to collaborate and we've built, like we, we've done the positive deep adaptation. But at the same time, these actions could actually, if done well, at a global scale, everywhere, with diverse regenerative cultures in place doing it, proudly expressing a difference to how somebody else do it, does it somewhere else, because it's that place talking and being expressed. Then we're actually building a system that might take us through the eye of the needle and build the world that takes us away from extinction and creates collaborative abundance and creates that evolutionary leap where humanity moves from being exploitative and degenerative to becoming a healing and regenerative influence on the ecosystems, the bioregions we, we live in. And ultimately, through doing this by scaling out, doing it community by community, bioregion by bioregion, in the diversity of cultures, plural, that's how we heal ourselves and we heal the planet. Rather than creating, this is the answer and now we need to put it out to our networks all over the globe. That would be a really big mistake.